Hello, my name is Jasmine Brown. I'm from Clinton, Maryland, where we are known for good crabs. I go to Grand Park High School in Brandywine and will be serving as their 2019-2020 FFA Chapter Treasurer. Also, I will be serving Class of 2021 Vice President for SGA, which is Student Government Association. I am a part of National Honor Society Manage, which is Minorities in Agriculture, Natural Resources, and Related Sciences, and National Society of High School Scholars. In school, I play soccer, which I've been playing that sport since I was seven. Also, I just started playing tennis. Ever since I was six, I knew I wanted to become a veterinarian, mainly for companion animals because I grew up with a lot of dogs. I was always fascinated by dogs. I used to stay looking up different types of dogs on the internet and tell my parents the facts that I read. To be honest, I never had heard of agriculture before, couldn't even pronounce it until my school environmental program. The only reason I signed up for the animal science class. I never knew how big plants, animals, and humans usually impacted each other. As you can probably tell, because of my love for dogs and animals, I want to major in animal science. My long-term goal is to be a vet for zoo animals, but I wasn't sure of it until this camp. During the course of these fun trips, I kept my options open to being a vet for livestock and marine animals. When we went to the Yuma Humane Society, I got to see dogs and cats with their glamour shot. I even wanted to take this dog called Noah home with me. They make sure that all their animals are neutered and spayed. One of my other favorite trips was to the Desert Spring Fish Farms. I got to see how the fish are produced and learn how even fish need doctors. I also learned how the fish poop water to fertilize the hay crops so cute baby goats and their moms could feed off the hay. When we arrived to the Rooster Cogburn Ranch, I was so eager to feed the animals, but it confirmed that I didn't want to be a vet for the livestock. My favorite part of this activity was feeding the very greedy ostrich, rainbow lorikeets, parakeets, and bunnies. I'm not gonna lie, the goats creeped me out. My favorite part of Ag Discovery was going behind the scenes of the zoo. We saw the skeleton of a regular snake compared with a snake that had arthritis and watched animal nutritionists prepare nutritional foods for the animals. After that, I saw the rest of the animals and even fed giraffes, which was cool. I also did other cool things like test bacteria on a sink in a car plate, catch insects, which I will try to continue at home, I toured a colossal cave and saw bats. I also made a cool desert plant bracelet. Along the way, I made good friends and grew bonds during these past 11 days. To all my new friends, if y'all ever go to DC, just call me if you want a personal tour guide. I would like to thank Dustin, Tanya, Belishka, Gloria, Sarah, Jason, Carol, Sierra, Kathia, Alex, and Mike, and to all the business and ag leaders that allow us to tour your business and share your secrets to success. Thank you, USDA, for funding Ag Discovery. I was exposed to so many parts of agriculture I knew nothing about. I am excited for my future.